Pass it over. Actually, you know what? Take it over first. So, one of the things I want to start talking about first is uh, we were discussing since we were drinking. Go, 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 Sour Rangers. There's still some in there. Huh? Hey, you want some of it? Yeah, there's still some in there. I don't want to open on it. There's still some oh. I've had a ton of these. They're really good. They're really, really good. I would say let it sit. Then they get a little warmer. Yeah. And then the flavors come on more. Which is not normal for most sours. I didn't think so. Really? Yeah. I didn't, you, when you told me that, oh. I let it sit while I cleaned the gym one day and uh, <laughs> tried it, and I was like, it's not any better. Now, I'm going to tell you really? right now, yeah. that's, that's a wine tip. Let it sit to change the flavors. But yeah, you, want, you don't want to, drink your, you want to drink your reds typically. You can drink them cold, whatever, mm -hmm. but you typically want to drink them like just just room temperature and a little bit under. Yeah, I don't. Well, that's I don't, how stouts are. Stouts are the same store, way, too. Yeah. I don't know. English beer is red in the fridge. Every, you know, when we were in London, everything, all the handful stuff, mm -hmm. that's all room temperature. None of that's icy really? cold, except for Guinness. And I think Carlsberg they sell ice cold. Guinness, mm -hmm. I could see why. Yeah, yeah Guinness, wine, Guinness is always icy cold. It's always possible. Yeah. Well, cheers, man. Thanks for having us. Oh, man, thank you. Salud. 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 Nice meeting everybody. Yeah. yeah. Definitely, man. So, back to this, uh, that's good. Back to this um, Power Rangers versus Cold Front. Oh, it's debacle. Too. Man, <laughs> um, we moved on from that. It's more. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> the whole time. There's oh, no way in hell. That's Power Rangers. The fact that four people say Power Rangers is better <laughs> just automatically means that so, it's over. So what's funny is that <laughs> Thomas and I were talking about it on Instagram when I posted my picture. Because my picture was Go Go Sour Rangers. He posted the the Power Ranger comic book with Kimberly in the front. Yes. Which made perfect sense. And his and we posted the same night, not knowing we were drinking the same beer. And my picture, <laughs> my picture was with my Voltron lines. <laughs> which, how do you, which you totally got crawled out on by someone else on yeah. your post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I, and I was like, I know, know that. that. That's my point. I'm trying to, I, I, I did it on purpose, though, obviously. I'm doing it to, you know, show that I'm more of a Voltron fan than I am the Power Rangers fan. But, uh, and then, and then we had, we had like a, a many back and forth. And then uh, one of my arguments was, you know, what I, you know, you know, uh, when I hear Power Rangers and, and a Wu Tang lyric, then we'll talk about Power, you know, Power Rangers being better than Voltron. Because who said? It? I think it was I don't know if it was Rizzo or Jizzo, where he says, "Come together and form like Voltron." Yeah, but I think, and that's that just time, like that because that's. I think Voltron was probably more. Of course, it was. That time than Power Rangers. Yeah, because that was what eighties, I think. Eighties, dude? No, nineties. What was that 90s? line? What song was that line on? Nineties. That was nineties. Yeah. yeah. Ninety one, ninety two, maybe ninety three. But uh, yeah, no. I, listen, I, I followed Power right, Rangers right. I thought like mm -hmm. from start to I won't say finish because I stopped right about uh, the Ninja series. Right I don't after think it's that. ever finished. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's still going on. Okay, so it's like the, you 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 stuck around with it like the the first two casts of the American stuff. Mm -hmm. So obviously Tommy was still there. Yep. So they they will plug him into any series possible. <laughs> they did. They, they did. Like, they four did. Or five oh, different ones after he that. just came back last season. Was it last season? Yeah, I think it was last season for the big battle. Yeah, he still yes, yes. he still shows up. Which he popped up? Didn't he show up as the Green Ranger? Yeah. Which was interesting because then the Green Ranger loses it, powers. But it, they, they they're going for popularity. And the and oh, yeah. in it's two so seasons rugged. ago, they oh, did yeah. one where still <laughs> that's why I said it never ended. Like, Here's more part of that four to one nonsense. Yeah, yeah, never and ended. you don't even know what's going on. Hey, hey. <laughs> Just I don't know if it's still being shown on TV. I haven't watched TV in so long. It, yes, it's still it's still being shown oh. on TV. They just uh, announced. I got to meet the cast of uh, the last one. I go to the, yeah. I go to the it's Power Morph Con, which is the the big world's largest Power Ranger convention. It's every other year in California. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. And because uh, they they the guy who runs it swaps it out one year. He does. It's called uh, Robo Toy Fest. Mm. So it's just like a toy Godzilla convention, and then he does Power Rangers. But oh, that's kind of all cool. all of the cast is always there, but. Because it's the biggest one, which is really cool, they always do the wrap up panel with the current cast. Nice. And mm -hmm. Has you know, Hasbro's involved and Saban was always involved in the con. So they always do the really, really big panel with, Hey guys, your seasons are done, talk about how great it was and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's always the almost like Steve Jobs from Apple. Oh hey, one more thing is do you guys want to meet the new cast? <laughs> and they're always back there. Nobody knows who they are. They keep it super awesome. secret. And then they all run out in costumes, and that's like the first time. And then like you can literally play like the costume and the same. They yeah, they come yeah. out in costume. That's because cool. you don't know what the costume because they don't always tell what what series they're going to be. Because they're all Japanese shows. It, right. It's still run, it's running in, from in Japan since 1973. Mm. So we've only seen the later halves. We haven't seen any of the earlier stuff because it's too weird. 
it would never pass here. Um, <laughs> that makes me want to watch it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You were talking about it. So they don't have a question. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, like, we were talking about Common Rider earlier as well. Same same concept, dude in a spandex suit, fighting dudes in rubber suits. Uh, but like some of the early stuff, they fought a villain named Starfish Hitler, who was literally the, the evil organization. They were terrorists in mm-hmm. Japan, had Hitler's DNA, and they cloned it with a starfish because starfish can read gorilla limbs and stuff. <laughs> so it's a giant nice. gold and silver starfish with a giant swastika on its chest <laughs> and a little Hitler mustache. I was going to say, did it have the mustache? <laughs> the little mustache. Yes. Dude, just, seriously, just look up starfish. Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's it. The host show's over. That's what we can, can stop, you put we can up, stop can with you, that. Can you have a little pop up with that button? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so the panels are cool. And then, like, that's usually the official announcement for when, like, Savant says, here's your shit in your series. So you get to see it at the con. Dude, that's dope. Starfish Hitler. That's like the highlight. And we haven't, yeah. and we haven't even, like, we already just started. That's, that's the highlight of the whole thing. So it far. is. It, yeah. That, but that early stuff is just, it's very, very black comedy weird. Mm. It's definitely worth, it's, it's worth hunting down. There's a lot of stuff. But, like, we were talking about, like, this is very clear. Power Rangers is very clearly in the lane of this is a Saturday morning child's show, where if you look at the the, the original Sentai stuff, way more adult. People are dying left and right. Hmm. Way more adult themes. Aren't most of them, though? I mean, most comics are uh, geared toward adults, not kids. Well, that's how it started. We just take everything. I, I agree. Yeah. We just take I everything think right. and desensitize it yeah. and I destroy think you, it. I think you're absolutely right. I think you're absolutely right. That's why now we were talking about it earlier about having like there's comics for the regular readers, the grown ups, and then there's stuff that's specifically geared towards children. Yeah. You know, because you know, it's, it's always like the lighter stuff too, you can always tell. Like, it's not yeah. Like, it's like I wouldn't want a ten year old reading the death of Gwen Stacy. That's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. Then they tone hey. it down for the movie a little bit, but the original comics are brutal. Or a killing joke. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, joke. that is not for children, no. but it's a great comic. It's but, it's a, but it's a story it's that awesome. you have to, <laughs> <laughs> it's a story you have to know as a, as a comic book follower, yeah. you have to know that. I and think that's like, yeah, like, you know, it's like, it's, it's one of those things where regardless of the, if you start reading comic, like my son or my daughter, mm-hmm. right, 10 and 13, and they start reading comics and I'm like, well, when did, you know, when did she become Oracle? When did, when did Barbara Gordon stop, you know, being mm-hmm. Batgirl? Then I go, whoa, let me say the story. <laughs> I'll try to tone it down, but you yeah. know for a fact they're going to research it on their own. And they go, well, you didn't tell me that the Joker took naked pictures of her and put her up on this, this scary ride and her father had to see all this crazy shit. You know, like, yeah. it was driving crazy. True. But that that whole storyline is not far, is not that much different than what the, uh, Heath Ledger did in uh, in what in the, uh, the Dark Knight, where he, he tried to make somebody, which is, uh, what's his name? Harvey Dent. Over the edge. Oh yeah, yeah push yeah, him over the edge. Over, yeah. Take this, take this, this guy who's knight in shining armor, you know, who's a perfect person, and then push him to the point where he's nuts, which yeah. is what he tried to do with, uh, with uh, Gordon. With yeah. Gordon. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good analogy. That yeah, I never, yeah, so, I really never thought about that. Yeah, but when I saw that, exactly when I, that's right. exactly what hit me when I saw the movie. I was like, wow, this is Killing Joke just revisited. It's Killing Joke and Long Halloween. There's definitely yes. the inspiration, yeah, from, yeah, from mm-hmm. both of those that he pulls from there. And that's and that's why, why I feel like he's the great, he's like the best Joker. I think the best. See, I hate that the best, Although obviously, you know, we I hate that argument, deny Jack. But I you think know, Heath is like I think that style of Joker because Joker. there is different Jokers. So I think yeah. that style of the Joker of who he is, like the psychopath, the crazy one. I feel like that's the anarchist. Yeah. I think he played Joker the absolute best. Yeah, portrayed Joker For, the yeah. absolute best. Well, he, well, here's the here's the thing. We talk about obviously we're we're in a comic book store, and I talk about this. My job is to talk about Batman. <laughs> so everyone's got their own opinion. Jack Nicholson's classic, but he, if you want to say that he's classic, then you got to say Cesar Romero's classic as well. But Joker, much much like other superheroes, has changed over time. They're doing a big storyline coming up. DC has a line of. Technically, they're calling them adult themed comics mm-hmm. called Black Label. Oh, that's right, that's right. So, Batman Dam is coming out yeah. one right now, and that got a lot of press <laughs> the because Bat it, shows, <laughs> it shows Batman's dick in it. What? <laughs> yeah. So there's, is there a reason behind it? No, like, it was just, he was just roving after a fight. And apparently, it came out after the fact that Dan DiDio, EIC editor in chief, said, When I saw the initial scans, I thought they were too dark. I had them lighten it. And then it came out. Nobody realized it until it went to print. Wow. Whatever. But you see, like this shot of Batman's ass, and then his dick. Whatever. So, but so the, the, these are these are these are a line for adult readers, not necessarily adult content, but it's for adult readers, serious themes. And they're doing one called 
uh, the three Jokers or whatever the title yeah. is going to be. Mm -hmm. And they're saying there has been more than one Joker mm -hmm. in the DC universe. That the Joker that I, Batman fought in the 80s is not the, the Joker that Batman is fighting now. Right. But there have been multiple people. And he realized this a couple of years ago in some storyline where he sat in Metron's chair, had all the knowledge of the universe, whatever. But was the, now the, they're, the now they're actually... Wars, right? Yeah. yeah the Dark Sea Wars. And now they're Dark actually going to be exploring that. Mm. So we might see that. But I, I loved Heath Ledger. I, I thought I, he was I loved great. It. But you know what? I also loved, and I know this is a super unpopular opinion, I love Jared Leto. I'm with because that. I look I'm at it the same too. way I look at Jared Leto. It's the same way I look at what's his name from Man of Steel. Uh, no, from Batman vs Superman. Uh, from Social Network. Oh, uh, uh, Lex Luthor. Uh, Jesse yeah. Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Yes. That did did the general fan base go? That's Lex Luthor. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Did they look at him and go? That's the, the Joker. Not really. But you know what? If those were characters that existed and came up now, mm -hmm. Joker's gonna look like a fucking SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> he's going to have facial tattoos. He's going to be that wannabe gangster. guy. He's terrifying in that movie. Yes. And I feel that that came across. Le uh, mm. Leto's character as the Joker was terrifying to people in the room. Yeah. Look at that scene with Common. Leto did yeah. do a yeah. good job. I, you know, he, now, he may not be your, your yeah, he may not be it was your different. type of yeah. Joker, but I think that's a modern day Joker. Same thing with Jesse Eisenberg. He's going to be Elon Musk. He's going to be Mark Zuckerberg. He's going to be some super nerd tech genius yeah. that decides to become a terrorist because everybody made fun of him as a child. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be the rich industrialist like Lex Luthor originally was. So know? I kind of like, the, now that we're talking about the Lex Luthor thing and the Jared uh, Leto with Joker, so 